What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to map two of the I-46 Grand Finals. See a couple shots of the venue and of the stage for this Grand Finals. That was Salamancer, oh my god, and comedian, but you couldn't see his face. Anyways, once again, we have Epsilon in the blue while TCM is in the red. Epsilon did pull off that first map uh, with a score of 3-0. to zero. And uh, moving into uh, Badlands here, rotating over to the Shack Shot side. Gear does jump around. Ooh, and then also look at that very close dodge. Europeans can air strafe as uh, Mike just barely dodged that rocket by Jukebox. Does go down to him inside the house, though. Cookie getting a pistol, pill, uh, pistol kill on Bash. So right from the very beginning, TCM showing a little bit more life. This is a, uh, well, um, they have to win this map. Uh, to continue have a chance at uh, taking first place in this event. If they lose this map, it is all over. And uh, then we can get on to the uh, Shoot Mania. Yeah, Shoot Mania. Uh, congratulations to uh, TF2 at I-49 being one of the uh, biggest games there. Bigger than the Counter-Strike GO event. Should have some other events going on in the community uh, the weekend. Uh, also being uh, probably bigger than the Dota at uh, I-49 as well. And uh, now TCM just continuing to work this pressure. I mean, it just it was all coming together for him now on Badlands. So hopefully it can continue to do such uh, because they got a very nice quick first round there. And uh, this is the uh, importance of playing multi-map series uh, as, uh, you know, you just you never really know in TF2, you know. Um, certainly Epsilon did great on Goldie Wash, but Badlands, uh, some different mechanics, some different strategies. All really small stuff, but it all adds up in the end uh, when the games are especially so close. Epsilon once again going that uh, Shack side valley rollout and uh, kind of getting shoved out for it too uh, with Mike and Bash going down. Cheekbox extremely aggressive, but must not have had anything loaded. So middle already captured, and there we go on Spire. Um, keep the momentum rolling. This is the way to do it. you got to just keep going forward. Now, when uh, these teams were playing uh, this game live, uh, the audience was right in front of them. They could see them. They could hear them. Uh, commentators had to be extremely careful about uh, what they were saying as well. And there we go. Cookie just gets right on top of the point. Great uber charge there. He just got in front of the point, kind of locked down that area, pushed everybody back, and then Cookie just came in and captured it. Always disappointing as a, a defending team um, when you can't... Uh, you know, when you have players alive and you, you have lost the point. But they just couldn't really do much there. So, again, excellent start by TCM here. Um, now out to two rounds in two and a half minutes. Mike getting a kill on Bibbin to kind of, you know, make up for some of that. But not really a whole lot as Cookie... Oh, God, it's Zebosai! Combining for huge kills. That was a great air shot by Zebo. And now it's just Stefan up with 30 health uh, in lobby, not doing much. So... TCM again just gonna keep it rolling and going to be able to take Spire here no problem again, uh, This time though, <clears throat> they did lose Marilyn on the middle point. So no uh, uber charge right away uh, But they're still you know in great position here uh, Epsilon getting a little bit forward here trying to contest with uh, Bash getting well climbing the Spire getting some height on the Spire um, Now some damage coming down Mike uh, for example very low 14 health and Bash just going to climb back up. But uh, somebody's behind here. Yeah, that is Jukebox. Gets the kill on Nox. So, I mean, that's pretty clutch. He just took out the Medic. And uh, Epsilon, not quite sure uh, how TCM are forming up or, or making this happen right now. Um, definitely a, a huge play by Zebo uh, to get the uh, pick on Nox. TCM haven't quite been able to utilize uh, or exploit that yet. Uh, but uh, since they do have such a huge uber advantage, now it should be much of a problem. Uh, Mike going down as well, and now Epsilon saying, yeah, maybe we better tuck this in a little bit, bring this in. Um, and they're going to have to be careful because Zebosai now just, uh, well, it looked like he was trying to go for a wall jump there. Something threw him off. The Pyro is out here as well. Zebosai is on the point and uh, blocking it off. Yes. The uh, rocket and the shotgun combined to get the capture. There you go. Now 3-0. So, I mean... This is just the difference between uh, some of the maps and, and, and how TF2 can go sometimes. Uh, TCM, when they were under pressure and only down by two rounds and they had 12 minutes to work with on Goalie Wash, couldn't make anything happen. And now on Badlands, within five minutes, able to score three big points. They get two more in a row. They'll just close out this map and we'll go to map three. 
Um, but, uh, you know, there's still t plenty of time here. 25 minutes left. And uh, Nox getting a, an arrow on Jukebox. So Nox uh, forced to uh, escape. Gear, the only other player up for Epsilon. Uh, in the choke, kind of unspotted, but now starting to move in. Yeah, and then just gets shotgun down. Nox with the crossbow. Uh, good to see, you know, crossbow allowed. Uh, crossbow certainly adds a lot of flair uh, to the game without without really detracting from it too much. Um, needles still very strong. Uh, not sure if Blutsauger is allowed, but the Blutsauger is a pretty great choice, and uh, I, I love using it. Uh, don't really like the uh, overdose though. That that thing, I, I don't know. Oh God, we're gonna see that on replay. Let's check this out. Oh, that's so dirty. Just the right angle. Um, Jukebox doing a great job of sniping Nox down. Uh, you heard the sizzle as well. Um, just a big loss there. Jukebox uh, finally connecting. Didn't really get much happening on goalie wash with the sniper, uh, but now uh, combining with his team to get some great damage. That was I. Huge frags there. And uh, they're just going to rotate through porch side. Looks like they're going to come out and uh, should be able to contain this uh, spire point very easily and get the capture. Jukebox even wants to uh, push forward and uh, start sniping a tunnel. He is at least seeing where everybody is. Sees that the demo man's up top. Going to rotate a little bit. They let the uber charge come in, which uh, I don't know if they're really going to be able to effectively use this. They don't really find anybody, don't really find the medic. Um, not too big of a deal there. I mean, they're they're down by 30% um, in terms of the Uber charge. Uh, but, you know, it should just, you know, Epsilon might be able to come out. But also, because they have Jukebox, this just plays into the strategy. Look at that. Oh, man, that was a great headshot. Uh, no Uber charge uh, was available even if, you know, they wanted to. Uh, but, uh, you know, they just kind of used the Uber early, tried to make something happen in the lobby. It didn't happen. So they decide, well, let's just, uh, you know, get some pressure and allow us to back up. We're on the offense anyways. We're, we're pushing into last. We can set the tempo. Uh, you know, we'll just we'll just build another Uber charge. And uh, that's exactly what they've done. Knox has one now. Um, coming forward with Mike. They are going to use it 95%. Oh, can he keep his double up? There it is. Gets it going the other way. And this is going to be tough for Mike. Mike's just going to walk forward and says, well, I want rib. It does get rib down to 29 health, but now... Turning around to help with the defense. Stefan has uh, been a big boost, though, getting uh, two frags. And now TCM bleeding some players. So with the 3-0 lead, uh, TCM, instead of getting a 4-0 lead, throw a bunch of players at the point and lose a bunch of players. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, now Jukebox, I'm not sure if he actually went down or if he was just still on Sniper, if he was one of the few to get away. Does get numlocked again, but unfortunately Rib... Uh, not so close, uh, quick to get out. Uh, another big headshot, though, on Mike. Uh, we didn't really see that too clearly, but uh, must have been pretty nasty because he didn't have much to work with. Oh, my God, and there we go. Jukebox on a tear as he gets uh, Nox as well. Now the scout in his face, not going to be able to get a ridiculous snipe clip there. Uh, certainly would have been uh, some quality action if he had gotten that scout as well. Uh, in the end, though, you know, pretty <laughs> fair trades. He got some major frags as a sniper. Going to switch over to Soldier as well for this push into last. And look at the advantage that uh, TCM have. 80% uh, versus, you know, what previously was 10% for Nox. So, I mean, very large. 75% advantage. Three quarters of a charge. And uh, then they just use it uh, in kind of an awkward situation. Uh, trying to keep players up and, uh, you know, obviously... Partially uh, Epsilon to blame for that being an awkward uber charge, but that's definitely going to work well for Epsilon. Um, now they're trying to rotate a little bit. Uh, good uh, hiding spot by Zebo. does pick off Numlock. Going to slow things down a little bit, but they still feel pretty confident about this. Looks like Jukebox um, also, well, I don't know. We'll see if we get to the player pop. Looks like maybe he was on the Ambassador as well, which I, I don't believe is, is allowed here. He's going to rotate around, though. He's got a great opportunity. Oh, a face stab uh, does not connect as uh, does not register fully. Just gets to the front. And, uh, yeah, does not get the bonus damage. He shouldn't have gotten it. But, uh, yeah, uh, the front of uh, Nox was all he saw there as a target. And uh, Epsilon's just going to push in. They realize, well, this is now a six on five, so we might as well get aggressive. And uh, Murlin and TCM counter by saying, yeah, well, we're just going to charge a point. Uh, that kind of works as they were able to just kind of pressure Epsilon back. 
And uh, since Mirlan's, Mirlan is able to escape, that's a plus. They did lose Zebesai, so they're at a, you know, kind of a disadvantage here. And uh, Epsilon, uh, well, even charges, Epsilon's going to rotate in the lobby. TCM with Jukebox on Snipes again is just going to push all the way back. Trying to use that barrel as cover a little bit. Uh, and let's see what Jukebox can get going on here. Now has to rotate. Thinks this is Counter-Strike. Whips out the knife to run faster. And uh, players uh, for blue team in lobby, which is, you know, kind of a forward hold, but I, I think works pretty effectively. Um, especially, you know, when you know there's not uber charges on the board. Uh, Jukebox does jump up, but uh, goes down as, uh, well, as soon as he didn't know, but he would have had an opportunity to get some sort of snipe there, perhaps. Gear in the forward spawn, but it's going to cycle to just get back. Definitely since they know that he's there as well. Charges out for both teams, but TCM just so far forward. Now Mike with the big jump. Gonna get the pressure. There's the Uber charge. I don't, th I don't know if he really needed to use, uh, Nox really used, needed to use that Uber that early. It seems like they they popped a, oh, Bibbin. Big capture there, wow. I was gonna say, it seemed like they pushed Mike in there with that big jump. Um, I mean, the Uber charge early will help him not take as much damage from those jumps. But then he was so far away from the medic, he just made him pop. And then he came back and it was like half of the Uber was already gone. And he didn't even really need any heals. So, uh, in the end though, it worked out though. as Bibbin with the big back cap. Definitely something he's known for. And uh, TCM, 4-0 lead. Gonna have to close this one out. Uh, Jukebox uh, goes down. Zebesai having trouble killing gear quickly. Now Rib under some pressure as well. Very low health, 30 health. Mirlin is with him. But it is just Mirlin, Rib, and Bibbin. And uh, they're going to get pressured by Mike. He's got plenty of health. Uh, not anymore, though, after he takes some rockets. The medic has caught up to him, though. And he's going to get those heals as well as the bottle. Now half health, not so bad. Um, and they're capturing Spire as well. Uh, great pressure here. Good forward presence. Good team co cohesion and coordination to get forward together. Now they're just going to uh, jump and uh, walk through up top. Bash goes down on the left uh, hand side. At least I think that was where that was in the lobby. But uh, Gear uh, getting Jukebox and Bibbin. Uber's out a little bit early, but uh, actually Mirlands looks like it was winding up at the same time as well. So it was actually more of just a head to head. Gear coming from behind as well. Spotted out, but great rocket around the back there. Another rocket to get the splash damage. Doesn't get the kill yet. Cookie soaking up so much there. Um, gear, uh, all great shots, but just not quite enough to kill Cookie. Um, and now TCM, uh, pretty much full strength. Could use a full, a few more buffs uh, around the team, but uh, everybody at least at full health. And uh, Epsilon, pretty much the same scenario though, however. Um, so we're gonna see this uh, Uber uh, cycle again, and uh, things getting a bit more cautious. And uh, there's the Basher being used, so uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're all being trolled when they were asking about it, and maybe it was really Gears. Uh, uh, item that was the uh, problem because um, the Boston Basher definitely out being used to charge uh, and I, I know that the Europeans are pretty friendly with the Boston Basher because uh, it just speeds up the game you know when you have these moments where both teams are waiting for an uber charge and a scout has a, a Boston Basher you know the scout using it can just get an advantage for that team or they both can just use it and uh, get back to e equilibrium gear good ro uh, pred rockets to uh, slow down TCM trying to push into him and rib just uh, Looking at doors right now. Uh, the flank coming around, though. Uh, this is a good Uber charge. It's going to force the Uber and some splits from TCM. Now some body blocking going down, but because of the splits, Mike, oh, God. Three rockets just destroys Zebesai super quick. And uh, see, he does get some more good damage down, but Bibbin, ooh, Gear, I think, finished that off for Mike. Gear also takes out Cookie. Oh, God, damage all over the place. Numlock, big stickies, and there we go. Epsilon gets its first round. Of the game, gonna need three more to bring this even. Uh, 15 minutes to do it in, um, you know, and uh, TCM certainly at the beginning of this map uh, did uh, three rounds a little bit faster than that. So it is a, a complete possibility. Um, even though a minute 30 is kind of a good estimate, uh, definitely uh, uh, TCM was railing out rounds faster than that in the very beginning of this game. Jukebox, big jump over the top, gets Numlock right away. Numlock was just a uh, in-house pretty isolated with that early pressure nothing much he can do about that uh, gears down to 75 health working the train though uh, or perhaps that was Mike uh, 
Usually when I cast American games, I know I know everybody's hats. I know that Hard Blue wears his samurai hat. Uh, you know, so a little bit easier for me to uh, recognize some of these uh, players just off the bat. It's not uh, intrinsic knowledge for me right now uh, over uh, which uh, soldier is which on some of these teams. Um, and uh, now a uh, big jump in again. Uh, look like that is Mike with the, the Tyrant's Helm. Now that I've said it, maybe I'll remember it. Um, and, uh, you know, good uh, shutdown there by TCM, but that Uber was forced. Um, with, uh, you know, Nox just getting back into action, though, it's not really a big deal. Um, you know, what, 13% Uber differential. Uh, not really much that you can work with there. Jukebox does go down, though, and, uh, you know, as the way that the heals are going, it's more of a quarter... But there's the back cap by Bash. There it is. Nice capture. Uh, the uh, uh, back cap returned for Bi from Bibbins earlier. It was a very nice one from Bibbin. Um, definitely, you know, one of those scouts uh, known for going for aggressive back caps. And Bash counters uh, with his back cap and uh, gets the round for Epsilon. So now just need two points. That was a quick round. Let's see what they can do on middle uh, again here. See if they can get some sort of advantage that they can work forward with. TCM, though, uh, getting some aggressive presence at first, but they've been getting flanked from Bash. Stefan coming in as well. And uh, both the scouts down for Epsilon as well as quite a few other players. As it's just Nox making the escape. And Riv going big. Uh, jumps all the way across over to Spire. Uh, the Bash are out as well to make sure that Maryland gets this early. And uh, TCM just going to take care of Spire very uh, comfortably. And a uh, very large advantage here. Um, you know, but 35%, they're going to have to get in here, going to have to use it um, if, if they want to, to, to be a, not against another Uber. Uh, a little bit slow to get forward, though, so that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, Jukebox uh, rolling on Sniper again. He's been able to get some picks, and uh, a couple picks here would definitely um, help facilitate uh, another capture and be able to seal this map for TCM Gaming. Now, um, Uber being forced to be used by uh, Nox. It was in response to an Uber by Mirlin early. And now Numlock, and combining with Mike, Numlock, big damage. Mike gets another frag down low. And there it is, a wipe for TCM. So just Zebesai spawning now. Numlock going to get on top of Spire. And uh, there it is. Get that started. Um, players rotating around different uh, directions. And uh, easy capture there for Epsilon. They do have a 30% um, advantage here. One player in-house. Looks like he's going to come back out of porch, though, to get a buff. Jukebox looking for looking for something. Uh, players behind choke, though. Going to be tough to uh, work much of an angle there. Instead, is going to go to try to close down that house angle where he did get that drop uh, from Nox earlier. And a player down low here as well for uh, uh, Epsilon. Both of the, oh, here we go, Jukebox. Can he? No, doesn't really look like he did much damage there. Down to half, well, a little over half health now. Now the Ubercharger is out as well. The Flash coming around, so not much going to happen. And uh, Rib pushing forward. Jukebox uh, on that Sniper. Gets a body shot. I believe he hit that. The SMG is out as well. Gets the kill on Mike with the SMG. Nice play there. SMG, pretty powerful. Jurati, not allowed here. Uh, no uh, headshots, or sorry, air shots there for Zebesai. Just trying to get one on gear. And Nox goes out to rib, uh, goes down to rib though. Trying to get through the doors. TCM should be capturing this quick. They do send a player up top. Zebesai Cookie uh, waiting to respawn. Oh, another headshot by Jukebox. Stefan up top, but uh, Jukebox, Bibbin combined to get Numlock. <clears throat> Epsilon bleeding some players here, really trying to commit to that defense. Jukebox, a great advantage here. Sorry, uh, TCM as a whole, a great advantage here. They need to get forward with it. And uh, you can see they're they're fairly spread out uh, with their players. Starting to get more players in the lobby. Starting to pile in here. Uh, but now, you know, we have full response by Epsilon. 50% uh, Uber advantage. So, I mean, hopefully they can use this Uber here. Looks like they are going to use it. One scout Uber on the side. Jukebox gets Mike as well. The Pyro is out. Mirlin rotating to lower. Uh, Bibbin goes down, was trying to get towards the point. Uh, does kind of tie up Numlock. Numlock, oh god! Oh man, Uber saw down by Nox and uh, Zebesai. I say, Juke, Juke going huge right now. 
Oh my god, TCM Gaming going to take the 5-2 to two win there. And there you go. Oh, sorry, not the win, excuse me, 5-2. to two. Oh god, I'm so used to, to North American style. 5-2 to two, um, goes uh, uh, big and gets the capture, but it's not going to be the win. 10 minutes now for Epsilon's eSports. Oh man, what a, what a slip up. Um, you know, if I was in the crowd at, at I-49 and casting games all weekend, it wouldn't be a problem. But uh, here we go, Epsilon, both soldiers jumping around the edge here. And, uh, you know, surviving. They backed up for heals a little bit. Gear taking good control. And now Mike back by the shack again. 110 health. Just going to walk through the shack. Doing a good job. Uh, Shove it back, Epsilon. And, I mean, I guess just, you know, generally speaking, uh, you know, why do we need to stop at five? It just doesn't make sense. There's no reason. Oh, well. Um, anyways, uh, TCM now in the yard position here, but uh, uh, Ubercharge is going to come out here by Mike. Does kind of pressure it out, but still ends up popping before um, you know TCM, just to be really cautious. Uh, Mike uh, gets kind of thrown back, going to survive. Gear a little bit low as well. Numlock going down on the porch. Good uh, stickies from Rib, but Rib's down, Cookie's down. And a little bit of pushback from uh, uh, TCM here. But uh, Epsilon just uh, getting the big frags. Bib been the only one to really do anything there. Doesn't go to closet. Stays in. And that's because he was getting heals. Able to still spit out some damage. Down to 26 health now. And the uh, saw is out. Oof. Bibbin's got to be careful. One arrow would have dealt him in. And uh, rotate from uh, Stefan. But I think that was a roller from Rib. Ended up getting him. So Epsilon not quite able to close this out. Um, you know, or this round at least. And uh, TCM Gaming. Um, pushing forward here with the uber charge, but Bash gets a frag. Rib, oh man, thrown so far forward by that trap. The rollers disconnected, gonna go down. Unfortunate there for TCM, but uh, yeah, you gotta be careful of uh, those opposing uh, demo man stickies. Rib might be able to respawn in time for uh, defense here. Um, TCM uh, has the uber charge, Epsilon without. And uh, Mike goes down as well, so. Now players can come forward, gonna rotate, but uh, excuse me, kind of a big loss, kind of a big loss for TCM. Zebo pushing forward again now, all oh, juggled up in the air, floating, but great Uber charge uh, to ensure that Zebosai stays alive. The scout's still on him. Bash gets rib in the meantime. Now more uh, support coming in here for Epsilon. Uh, counter damage being thrown up top to try to uh, uh, counter the capture up there. Mike does stop it. Zebesai, Mirlin, and Jukebox, the only ones left. But it's a three on three, and you can see that TCM is poked, uh, posted back on their point. Uh, Epsilon out here by Spire. Boston Basher is out. Going to be used to uh, build here. And uh, trying to cut uh, TCM out. One of the players in forward spawn, which is going to cycle. Ends up back uh, at regular spawn. And uh, look where TCM is, very far forward. Gonna have to Uber charge here early. Nox at 64%. So, you know, they're just gonna back up on the gray bridge, stay comfortable for a little bit. And look at this soldier, very isolated. Gonna be able to sneak out a little bit, but that's just, you know, 26 health, only a matter of time. He ends up uh, committing suicide. Uh, gonna try to wait for the spawn here. Marilyn, very low health, getting pressured in by uh, Numlock. Pressuring on the point as well. Uh, soldier was trying to jump up to the uh, lamp post. I don't think he got it, though, and just Bibbin left against four players. A lot of explosions. Bibbin not going to be able to do it. And now the lead narrowed to two once again. Six minutes left on the clock, as we saw in the beginning of uh, this map. Definitely a possibility here. Uh, what can um, TCM do to slow the game down and make sure that they don't drop this here? And Epsilon definitely going to have to keep the tempo rolling. Epsilon again, uh, going kind of valley side. Looks like Shaq sending the soldiers across again. Bibbin goes down early. Jump from red now. Both scouts working together in tandem. Very nice play there to take down Cookie. A lot of, lot of deaths for red team. There goes Rib. Everybody except for Zebesai now. And he is going to be lucky if he escapes. Uh, looks like 14 health though. Uh, what? <laughs> I... I don't, I don't quite understand that one. Uh, somehow took damage from 
running and jumping. Uh, I, I don't know. Kills himself, though. He's going to get the respawn. Maybe he just killed himself, but uh, it would have been faster just going to that forward spawn and cycle. So, I don't know. A little confusing, but whatever. Uh, Nox now out here with the uh, uber charge. Um, Pyro is out here as well for TCM. Sticky's on that wall. Sees if he can get a frag after the uber charge is faded. And Sticky's on the point as well, so... Um, good post up. Epsilon get kind of sh stuffed uh, right at the beginning. Cookie on heavy, and that's a good sign for TCM. Now TCM, um, Cookie does get the frag on bash. Stefan down as well. Epsilon looking to looking to do something here. TCM fully with the Uber though, and uh, look like they might be. Uh, Pressuring through point or throw choke in house. It's an aggressive play for them, especially considering they're up two rounds right now. Uber is out, jumping through, trying to retake middle. Middle very important to this uh, whole map. Jukebox goes down to Bash, who's working underneath the bridge one on one. Gear gets a frag on Epsilon as well. Uh, now Bash goes down. It's a four on four scenario. Can they get the capture here though? No, the capture is blocked. Rib having some difficulties as well. Thrown up in the air. He needs to connect with Marilyn and does. Cookie, very low. Trying to get damage on the medic. Not going to get the frag, though, as Nox just barely scratched from that exchange. And the charge is out here as well for Nox. So, it's going to be trouble. Jump down from Zebeside. Trying to get some pressure. Maybe that was Jukebox. Excuse me. Uber charge in here as they're capturing Spire. And uh, Numlock and Epsilon said, you know what, let's just keep going. Um, kind of a weird Uber, though. Uh, I don't know if there was really any damage he had to dodge with that. Wanted to Uber and keep pushing forward, but it, it wasn't a lobby hold. Maybe that was just what they were expecting. They were expecting some players in lobby. Um, now TCM, Cookie, fully buffed as heavy. And soak up a little bit of damage here. Zebesai, um takes out Numlock. So that's a very big pick. Three minutes now on the clock. Got to finish this round and maybe get another one to force an overtime. Uh, Mike trades uh, kills with Sebasai, but Numlock just just responding. Be a little bit before he's back in action, and Epsilon without the Uber charge as well. You can see through their outlines uh, fairly far away. And uh, the engineer comes out as well. Huh, odd hat on the engineer. I'm not familiar with that one. Very cool, very cool. And uh, Epsilon now just getting the Uber Charge, getting ready to go. We'll see, it looks like they're pretty rich, ready to go immediately. Vivian gets the SG up to level two, tries to stay in as Engineer to hit it one more time to get it to stay up a little bit. But now kind of stuck just running around on the bottom, only really has his shotgun to work with. Maybe he has enough metal for another gun. Yeah, the gun did go up, but Vivian gets taken down. Now Cookie under pressure as well. Marilyn down, and that is a wipe. Looks like Epsilon gonna have two minutes to work with here in order to possibly tie this game and send it into an overtime round. Definitely, definitely, as we saw in the beginning of this map, you can have some quick rounds on Badlands. All depends on whether you get those frags in the middle, keep your medic alive, and keep rolling into that last point. It's going to be important to keep Rib up here for um, TCM. Pressure from down low. Uh, Nox very low for Epsilon. Does pick up the health pack in-house, in starting to come back out again. And now the player's going down for TCM. Just Zebo and Miralyn trying to escape with Miralyn. But Miralyn really not that far yet. On the Great Bridge. Oh, big bomb in from Numlock. Pipes rolling over. Rollers down on the ground. And Stefan's going to get the kill from Miralyn. There goes Devisai as well. Close range rocket from Mike. And that's almost more devastating to lose the medic so late like that. They got a player capturing Spire. And uh, Jukebox on the Pyro to try to slow things down. So Miralyn just about to spawn. Epsilon surely going to be pushing in very quickly. Here it is. Great pyro movement by Jukebox. Separating the medic before he gets taken down. And it's just Cookie left though. And Zevisai. So there we go. What a comeback. Mistakenly called that GG at 5-2. But we are in Euroland, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, you play till the 30 minutes is over. And that's just how close this game was. That Epsilon able to pull that back to a 5-5. 30 seconds left on the clock. Really now, this is too little of time for another round. But the team's going to kind of do some exploratory action here. 
as now that we're going to be heading to a golden cap round, then uh, without a doubt, we're going to see one more middle fight here. Players might as well uh, throw some cards down on the table. Looks like Epsilon actually, actually uh, destroying uh, TCM pretty good there. Uh, but, you know, clock is ticking down, and that is going to be the it, it for regulation time. And uh, the end of uh, regulation, well, it's just regular play. This is uh, Golden Cap Overtime, 10 minutes on the clock. Um, as I said previously when explaining the format, if uh, the middle point is, or sorry, if the timer expires, whoever is controlling the middle point uh, wins the game. So there you go. Uh, that's just uh, how it is, how it goes down. Epsilon going for a lower rollout, but a bit more of a submariner play, sending a soldier uh, underneath while also rotating uh, ramp side. It's a true submariner. Uh, you send everybody under. Oh, but there goes Nox to Zebo. Big bomb. Gets the shotgun finish on Numlock as well. And now it is Epsilon having problems on middle. Oh, does not hit the air shot and can't finish the medic with the shotgun as well. Mirlin was down to 28 health. But now with the 70% charge, they're going to be charging forward um, and uh, sending players through house and porch so they can get on top of that spire and uh, capture that point quickly. Uh, no forward spawn is going to happen as their whole team is up already. But uh, if they can get into lobby here, uh, get in good uber charge, they can finish this round fairly quickly and uh, just move on to a third map. If Epsilon were to win this uh, overtime, though, uh, the, the event would be over. Uh, grand Finals won by Epsilon. Uh, but right now, TCM in a great position. The Uber Charge is out. Some flashes going around. They started with the Scout. Scout's just trying to pick off the Stickies on the point. Stickies are clear right now. Soldier's now on the point for Epsilon, trying to hold in there. One Scout still up for TCM. Fighting. Bibbin up to 15 health. Gets a little bit more shot in. It's just Rib and Mirlin now. Just Rib and Gear. Mirlin with the heels still. And there we go. Gear has to jump around the side to try to do something. Tries to pull. I believe that was almost a platinum. But that is the GG. Map 2 down. Some more crowd shots. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back with Map 3, the decider for the I-46 Grand Finals. Stay tuned. I am Xton, and I will see you next time. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.